right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of the Have and the Have Not Season 5 Episode 17. Tell me why David is protecting Veronica. Tell me why he's protecting Veronica. He should have told the fire department and the police who did it and all that kind of stuff. So it, it leads me, me to want to ask and want to know what does Veronica have on David that would stop her from telling the truth about what she got on him. Because when he asked who did it or do you know who may have done it, who got anything to do with all this kind of stuff, he gonna be like, no officer. And I'm just... <sighs> Look, he's coming. You know? Tell it! Tell her why she did. I'm kind of a little over the BS right now, Tyler Perry. Get on with the get on. Tell us what's going on, what she got on David, because it must be something good and juicy that she got on David. David, is you a convict too? I mean, come on. Everybody, Veronica, know done dibble and dabble with the law and did some illegal in some kind of way. So I'm assuming that you have too. We just waiting on the come on. So go on and come on and tell us what it is, that what it was, and what's going on. So anyway, Oscar looking for Candace. She was smart and done changed rooms, went straight across the hall. So when she hit somebody banging on that door next the door next door, she just look at her peep at her peephole and see who want her. And um all that stuff. So now all her tricks and everybody she done done wrong. <laughs> they don't well, they don't know where she is technically. But it ain't like it's gonna be that hard to find out. They work at the same hotel, like really. I don't know if that was a good idea. So anyway, Veronica got to end of her road with David and Erica. So she at the point she want Candace help. Veronica told Candace David not worth much this 16 million. I don't know what y'all thinking, but to me, if that's not worth much, then how much is Veronica worth? Because to me, that's a hell of a lot of damn money that he not worth. That's a lot of money to me. That's a, he worth a hell of a lot. These rich folks be killing me on this show. So she also told, uh, asked Candace, was Erica any good? <laughs> Candace said, I trained her, so she's she's damn good. Like she really good. So now Veronica just all uh, broke down and whatever. And uh. So she told Candace, uh, but Erica ain't about to take David for no money. And Candace's like, what are you talking about? Sure she is. <laughs> Veronica's like, honey, where you been? Wake up. Erica in love. Candace's like, she worked for me. She is not in love. And Veronica's like, yes, she is. Where you been, Candy, honey, darling? The girl is in love, honey. Erica's in love. I'm glad she in love. And I hope, she, uh, I wish she would go on and tell David before Candace tell David that uh what the deal is so she can still have david because i at this point i want erica to stay with david i think they make a good couple now but if she don't hurry up and tell david uh, candace gonna blow that out of the water so i hope she tell him soon but anyway so hannah and melissa they talking and i'm glad hannah talking to the girl because she need to talk to somebody like i told you in all the uh, other episodes the girl just need a mom, and, and Hannah is going to be, like, literally the only one that can help her and can do anything for her. So, she need to be talking to her and tell her all that she can be telling her now. Because when they, they, these people finna come from the hospital or come from wherever, uh, Veronica have them sent to try to declare the girl is insane and have her put in an institute and in the loony form and take the girl baby, which it... The girl that signed the baby over without doing all of this if Veronica would just ask. But Veronica's so mean and selfish and just want to do so much harm to people that that would be too easy and too it, it, it make too much common sense to do. So she just want to be sure that um, Melissa don't ever come back and try to ask for the baby or have no rights to the baby. So she need to be sure that she do something mean enough 
where, you know, she just can't come back or whatever. So, anyway, Derek, you know, had a new dude. So, come to find out, he know Veronica. Veronica trying to call him over there to fix the wash, wash machine. Come to find out, he used to be some kind of criminal that she found out was good with his hands and helped him get set up in business. All he the one that introduced her to Catherine and all her other girlfriends, she said, got him started. Now she, she threatened him because he don't want to have sex with her. Talking about, you know, if they find out this, that, and the other, um, the truth about you, basically, then they ain't going to want to fool with you. He told her, so you blackmailing me? He said, I'd have had more respect for you if you tried to seduce me. He said, but because you tried to blackmail me, I have zero respect for you. Veronica, she burning all her bridges, but the moment she find out he don't want to sleep with her because he won't handle, she really gonna have a coming, uh, uh, a uh, falling apart. <laughs> Them doggone Youngs just destroyed her life. First of all, Candace done hooked up a darn little one of her workers that's done basically finna be married to her husband if they don't mess this deal up. Benjamin Young done slept with who she, uh, her grandchild mama, gone off. Hannah with, with a booty call man. The Youngs just <laughs> getting on her nerves. She gonna be mad. She gonna be, she gonna be trying to bury them all. She gonna be trying to get, uh, send Derek off, Hannah off, Candace off, Benjamin off. She gonna wanna see all of them go off. She sending Eric off. She gonna get rid of them and all their friends. They whole group. <laughs> anyway. So. Um, that she messed that up. So. Veronica. Um, anyway. Hannah. Fi uh, what was I going to say? Oh. When Hannah find out that Derek done be with Veronica, she gonna have a fit over there too. So that relationship probably gonna be when she find that out. But Rocky uh, just had to go there and run tell his mouth, his, run his mouth about to Oscar, telling him about Candace and everything they had going on because he mad. He got cut out, so he gotta be a little bitch and go snitch. He get on my nerves. Now the two of them gonna be in cahoots together trying to get everything going against um, Candace. And then uh, Brandis, Brandon, he trying to hook up with Jeffrey while he in town. Justin um, gonna nearly kill Jeffrey if he find out that Brandon in town. But he ain't gonna see uh, be able to see Brandon coming too busy worried about Wyatt and him talking to Wyatt and what part of it. We just friends. He can't understand. Justin, why and Jeffrey been friends since they was kids and you sitting up here trying to come here and tell him he can't talk to somebody? Y'all, Justin gonna mess around and kill Jeffrey and some more folks because this fool really stupid. And I soon, I keep waiting for the episode to come when he ain't gonna have no job and he really is gonna be doing something crazy then. Um, when, when they get through with Veronica and, and and if David find out when Veronica and David get through, hell, this fool ain't going to be able to find no job at McDonald's. He keep on messing with Jeffrey. Because he's going to mess around and piss David off and Veronica off. And like I said, when they get through with Justin, he won't even be able to get a job at doggone McDonald's or no doggone where. So he better stop all this damn foolishness, foolishness he doing, all this damn acting a fool and stuff carrying on. Because... He really about to get himself in some serious ass trouble messing around over here with Jeffrey with all of this uh, threatening his life and carrying on he been doing and all this stuff. But, um, he, I don't know. So, Jim got post Sarah back over here. He gonna let Sarah, he gonna tell Sarah he not using no protection. He just so disgusting to me. He got her crawling around on the floor and to get him a blowjob and whatnot. I, I want her to bite it off and spit it in his doggone face. And he just so nasty to me. How you crawling around, got her crawling on the floor just being so doggone degraded? This is how he done done all these women. Jim just uh, just so low and gutted to me at this point. It just... Uh, 
he just do something to me. I just can't stand him. He just so ugh, ugh, ugh. But anyway, why is Jeffrey even still with Justin? When they showed that scene and him and Justin were still laying up in that bed together, I'm like, have you lost your mind? You should have sent him on. Now here, why it is calling because he he having a breakdown and he about to get Jeffrey killed for real. Cause of course Jeffrey gonna answer the phone talking about he leaving to go over there. Justin talking about if you're going to see him, then I'm going with you. And then he like, no, you're not going with me. He's like, yes, I am going with you. No, you're not going with me. All this kind of stuff. And he gonna tell him if you go with him, I will kill the both of us. And, and <laughs> Jeffrey's like, you better not say nothing like that before ever again in your life to me. And cause he ain't really scared of Justin. Justin with the grab his arm, he's like, you bet not, cause you know I'm not afraid of you. Blase, blase, and it's just too damn much. But anyway, they, eh, I don't know. That that's just it's done. Just took it took just took away. I mean, but now, um, I don't know. This show, this episode was just really slow for me. Because the only other thing I want to discuss is Derek and Hannah. Right now on this episode, the only thing that got me waiting on is Derek and this lion tattoo. Because yeah, we already seen that whoever raped Hannah had a lion tattoo. And the fact that Derek is being so wanting to have sex with Hannah made me feel like he got this lion tattoo. And now that it's been confirmed for me that Derek got a record and that he been in some kind of trouble before and the fact that Veronica threatened to expose him and gonna tell him that if do you want them to really know the truth, the real truth, your real record, that make me feel like he gonna have some stuff to be exposed and I'm wondering if what need to be exposed gonna have to do with him raping Hannah or raping women or known to rape women and then this lying tattoo gonna come out because now this is all I care about concerning this Derek and Hannah situation. And now that she done brought it up, so as far as the rest of this episode, now I don't care nothing else about the rest of the episode because I'm stuck on this lying tattoo and Derek and this breaker. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this episode. And let me and leave it in the comments below. And I will see y'all in the next.